Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful Libra. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host, Shivansh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate that. All right. So you have not been seeing me for a long time. Yeah, it's because I was experiencing something crazy in a different world. All right. So Libra, yeah, I don't know what is wrong with your energy. Cards are falling here and there. Uh, but this card jumped out of the deck and flipped. All right, this is Lord Vishnu himself showing up in your reading and the bottom of the card is Dhanvantri. So I am saying Libra for you big, big revelations about divine in a divine way. And not only this divine um, understanding that you are having in a divine way is um, not only just about to uh, stabilize your life it is like kind of coming to you as a um, uh, whatever this is coming towards you from the divine it has a nectar in it of healing you uh, treating you um, uplifting you enhancing you empowering you healing you you know if you have been suffering from long ailments you are going to get healed all right i am seeing a lot of stability coming your way all right a lot of stability coming your way in the sense like maintainer of the universe is telling me that he is going his energy is going to um you know his energy is going to follow you will bless you which will bring a lot of healing energies um like kind of a nectar because this is a divine um, healer all right this is a medicine man kind of an energy so medicine man carrying an um, a, a pot of <clears throat> ambrosia all right heavenly ambrosia like kind of nectar all right to heal you to to enhance your life and that is telling me freedom from diseases as i told you that you will be healed from any diseases will give you recuperation retreatment rejuvenation kind of energy if you have been going through some overwhelming um, experiences as far as your physical body physical avatar is concerned greater health and well-being you're going to have a uh, greater health and well-being mastery of the medis medical sciences if you are a doctor or you are thinking about becoming a nurse or a doctor or a reiki energy healer or a universal energy healer or any kind of a healer you're trying to be or become that or be do that mastery you know um, then i'm saying that you are going to do that mastery in this um in this zone all right uh, spiritual knowledge and liberation you are going to have a lot of spiritual knowledge spiritual understanding like kind of how god works how universe works how to manifest you are not a person who is going to waste your time in lose manifestation skills or lose spells or cast or anything like that not i'm talking in a in a negative uh, or dark aspect all right that you put cast or spells or anything like that even what you are thinking your intention your thoughts become a spell in a way all right and that's what you manifest at the end because what you have thought you will definitely um uh, you know put a, put your work your karma your action onto it and accordingly you get a result out of it and what i am saying is that just because you have that spiritual knowledge and understanding the karmas that you are going to place is going to be kind of very dharmic like kind of righteous full of ethics morals principles and values of your life because this is the first card that jumped out of the deck is telling me you are honing into his energies or his energy is coming towards you to bless you to enhance and uplift your life so let's see what this card says illumination of the heart heart chakra is getting illuminated where you are seeing the true essence of divinity true essence of love true essence of soulful thing you know everything is spiritually connected to you that's what you understand everything is spiraling back to you that's you understand all right and this is bringing a lot of illumination which will illuminate your heart illuminate your intellect so that you can see certain things certain challenges certain aspects of your life from a different dimension altogether different perspective altogether just because of the illumination all right i am feeling like you are becoming the illuminati of your own life 
where your third eye is open and you are seeing everything as it is without even any manipulation or diplomacy or politics or whatever it is that we are accustomed to in the 3D world because you understand what righteousness is and that's what you are embodying and I am doing this reading depending, <clears throat> uh, not depending, it's like um, keeping in mind or the download that I have got that these readings are going to be from new moon to full moon all right this is what is going to take place so whenever you end up watching this reading this will be the energy that you will be vibrating in all right and that's what I'm feeling for you that um, you know achieving all success in life that means if you have been a failure you know your career is haywire your finances are haywire you are from head to toe on debts <clears throat> you have debts in your name mortgage in your name or whatever financial issues you are going through or the failures that you have uh, and you have um, you have dealt with in your life i am saying now good days are returning to your life where achieving all the success in life so any failures that you had the the the, the tables has the tables has turned thank you so much father the father is saying that your tables has turned 360 degree all right that means i can see the will of destiny will of fortune uh, you know it's, it's turning in your favor welfare for one's family if there has been a lot of drama and chaos arguments conflict this and th that is going on in the family dynamic in the relationship dynamic in your job space or with your colleagues or with your friends any which way <clears throat> i'm saying there's a welfare ceasefire or peace uh, is getting restored all right to reverence for life you have that reverence for yourself you have that shraddha for yourself you have that uh, divine feeling for yourself so that's how you are going to see the outside world as well because you have now the true reverence for life because you understand what life is all about and how life should look like and look this card is again fell down and look at the tower all right that means this energy did not come or happen in your life overnight you are a person libra to be in this energy of chaturbhuja uh, narayan shri hari vishnu coming up in your reading libra is telling me that finally you as a scale depiction of a scale sign you have learned to find that balance of your own life and accordingly learn to balance your own life and honing into this energy of empress amazing you know you are learning to you have learned to balance your life you have honed into that energy of empress and you are becoming that masterpiece of the divine himself and you are coming out of any juggling energy as of now that you are going through any tough energies tough times that you are going through it is going to subside now all right and this is two and this is three two two of pentacles and empress this is two and this is three is telling me that <coughs> uh, whatever you have been juggling all through this time the 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 um the gusted waves uh, or or the ships that you have been waiting on for you to return to come or this thought that you have you lost all right the emotional waves that you are going through with certain decisions that you had to make the juggling that you are doing in one leg all right that is turning you out into this energy of a magician my dear and you are experiencing and uh, that and rebirth process all right this is a process of death and rebirth only that can bring this ultimate divine feminine out of you all right today i'm saying that you are in love with the death in such a way that the most darkest aspects of your life the most darkest space of your life has given you this beautiful essence of you knowing who you are and that's the reason and look it's more like this that brahma vishnu mahesh all right are showing up in the reading for you okay you can see like this that this is magician he is a creator all right it's a brahma kind of an energy this is uh, vishnu all right who is a sustainer and this is that himself it's a uh, destroyer so you have gone through the phase of brahma vishnu mahesh you as a wall you were created but in this energy is a depiction of manipulation also trickster also so first 
you were going through your own uh, demons and lows, uh, flaws um, of how you used to see the world and how you have seen the world in the last couple of years and the understanding, the uh, illumination that you have got in your heart, body, mind, soul of knowing who you are and becoming that medicine a woman, medicine man for yourself by overcoming the devil, overcoming the evil, overcoming the darkness, all right, and becoming that sustainer of your own life. And that's what I'm saying that you are no longer going to juggle and you are becoming that co-creator now. The table says to turn. That means any death that was supposed to be taken place has already taken place. All right, and now a new illumination. Look at the light, it's falling here in the sword. All right, that means you have slayed all the darkness from your life, and you are bringing that light into your life through your intellect, through your understanding. Because sword is a representation of intellect, that means when your intelligence dies, that's when darkness overpowers you. And we are in the dark and dark age, and that's what has happened in your life. And you have worn over the darkness, you have learned to transmute the energy and you have become a sustainer of your own energy in a balanced way and has come to an alignment of knowing who you are in your true essence and you are ready to create your life all over again are you seeing the energy that has changed but this energy is still very much prominent in your life which is going to bring that stability much needed attention that you need the healing you know and the blessings uh, you know i'm feeling like for you uh, libra this is your venusian energy all right and i am feeling that your venusian energy was blocked for a long long time that means uh, living a comfortable life living a healthy life feel healthy feel motivated feel determined all thing all these things and look all these cards are major arcana my dear all right all these cards are major arcana in your reading okay so i'm feeling like you have been overpowered in a stalemate energy for a long long time juggling energy for a long long time going through the waves of your emotions overwhelming thoughts of your emotions in one leg leg losing out waiting on uh, don't know what to do you know you, you you question your love life you question your passion you question if I will ever stand up somewhere otherwise there is all you know uh, conflict argument I really don't know where my life is going XYZ then I am saying that you are coming into an energy with your illuminations that which way to go what to choose in your life and you are making the right choices and right decisions because you understand what divine is how divine energy works who you are what you should be doing uh, where you should be heading how you should be looking at your life, uh, you know, uh, in, in your true essence. Because Empress is the true essence energy. And Empress is a, uh, is a true, true uh, master creator in a way. And these two cards coming together means you are going to create your own universe in the most beautiful way. So universe is asking you to uh, enhance your, um, you know, imagination that means universe is asking you to daydream a bit all right because you have detached yourself so much because of the challenges and the juggles that you have gone through that you have lost your um you know like skills of imagination or of how you really want your life to look like and that's what i'm feeling that this new moon energy will enhance your imagination powers and skills so that you understand your creativity your talent you understand the hidden gifts that you have within and that those energies will bring this nectar kind of life this medicine healing medicine kind of life in your um, medicine kind of light energy into your life so that you can be that empress be that magician all right and you can just slay any dark energies that you don't want to entertain all right and stop juggling and that's what i'm feeling that you are about to stop juggle to any conflict or dark energies that you have been dealing with you are coming in that energy of forgiving yourself and forgiving others all right and that's how you are recreating some aces kind of energy aces in the sense like new beginning all right because i got two pages as well all right 
So from major arcanas to this minor arcanas are telling me that there is a death and that a new birth, right? So death has already happened in your life. Now, death to any toxicity or dark elements, dark energies in your life and bringing you into this energy of harmony with yourself. Be compassionate, be passionate with yourself, be associated with yourself, with your inner child. And accordingly, these energies will tell you how to vibrate in these energies of divine masculine and feminine energy of creating your own universe of of how you want your universe to be so if your imagination power is not to that point then you know very well how you are going to manifest right you will keep repeating or thinking the same thing i wish i wanted to have this kind of a house this 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 and the imagination is like this that if you have a, okay, let me put it this way. If you are a person who is staying in an apartment or flat, for example, you know, and your imagination is limited to this, you will never be able to imagine about having a bungalow, all right, a bungalow with full of glasses around. Are you getting me what I'm saying? So you have to open uh, the doors of your imagination and dream big, all right? These cards are telling me that, my dear, dream big dreams do come true believe in that dreams do come true you have to dream big believing in your guts believing in your intuitions that yes yes i deserve this yes i can do this yes i will manifest this yes i am the empress who can create yes i am the magician uh, who can manifest uh, and i know how to use all these tools of mine yes i can do this and i know where i have to lift this sword up to say goodbye to anything that does not serve me are you getting me this is the kind of understanding that is coming your way and a sense of freedom a sense of uniqueness a sense of serendipity a sense of comfort a sense of accomplishment is coming towards you that's how i'm feeling which will make you feel really passionate will ignite you within and give you a new way of living life with like kind of new energies like you are going to be more creative more passionate more energetic more enthusiastic and you will be able to put in your energy and work for a cause for a betterment of your own life or for the society for the mass in some way shape or form you are becoming a divine being that's how i'm feeling for you libra that's a beautiful message to show up and i am feeling that for some of you it's a calling that you should be uh, paying attention to your spiritual gifts and understanding some of you probably have that art and skills like me of becoming a psychic medium or becoming a reiki energy healer a uh, past life regressioner or whatever spiritual gifts all right like a tarot card reader or a astrologer i am seeing a lot of spiritual gifts coming your way which will give you a new outlook to your life new perspective new dimension to your life where you will be able to make money you will live a happy life comfortable life that's why i'm saying that open your imagination power so that you can dream big and attract the dream big bigger larger than life kind of energies towards you and that can happen only when you unlock the doors because of the experiences that you have gone through you have closed off somehow and universe is nudging you there open up open your heart space listen to your intuition stop feeling overwhelming all right you have lost nothing all right that's what universe is saying everything that you feel has lost will come back be it your career finance coming out of debts or whatever it is you will come out that's what I'm feeling. As this moon will grow in the sky, your life will also grow. All right. But not to come down as the moon will wane. You, your life will not wane, wane down like the way it has been happening as of now. Sometimes for 15 days you may feel good. All right. Then another 15 days when the moon is waning and you are feeling bad. Are you getting me what I'm saying? Emotional here and there so 15 days your scale is this side 15 days your scale is this side are you getting me you have been in that um imbalance energy that's why you were juggling all right i'm feeling like that and that's what i'm feeling that now that you have the power of that empress you are understanding how an empress energy works and that's how you are understanding to uh, use the tools and that's what i'm feeling that your masculine energy has the power to 
uh, handle the, the, the these tools to uplift your life. So listen to your divine masculine within you in spirit. What he is trying to say. He is trying to tell you that you are not weak. You are very strong. You are you are a mighty powerful human being. You can use all these tools and I will help you to enhance your life. Listen to me. Come to me. You know, this energy will take you places. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But if you don't listen to this energy, this can be a trickster as well. This can be a manipulator as well. Then at the end of the day, you will be standing in front of the death. Like what the hell I am doing and what is happening with my life. All right. Are you getting me what I'm saying? So I am seeing a beautiful restoration of good energies coming towards you, giving you a new heights, new life, new perspective, new dimensions. That's that's when this imagination, you know, imagination power needs to open up. And this is a message for you very strongly. All right. That your imagination needs to enhance and expand, open up, daydream. All right. And whatever thoughts comes to you, please write it down for your um, uh, so that you know the kind of dreams you are seeing, the visions that is coming or random random thoughts that is coming. There are some, some messages for you, for your life uh, moving forward. OK, so I hope this messages has helped you in some way, shape or form. Until we meet again, I'm sending across much love and light to you all. Om Namah Shivaya. Stay blessed and in peace. Bye bye.